This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. Today we're comparing two very popular grip modules and this is what they are. This right here is the Icarus Precision Ace 365 XL aluminum grip module. And this guy right here is the Mischief Machine Omega P365 XL grip module. We're gonna compare these two. We're gonna put them side by side and talk about the differences. I'm gonna start by saying both of these grip modules, these are both excellent quality grip modules and both Really awesome companies too. I've talked extensively with both companies over at Icarus and Mischief Machine and they really stick by their product. They believe in their product and they love their product. And that says a lot about a company. They're not a trunk slamming company that just wants to make a quick buck and get out of town. They wanna to make a lasting difference on you guys. So again, both of these are good quality grip modules and let's compare them side by side. This is the Mischief Machine Omega grip module. Icarus Precision Ace 365. All right, and boom. This is the Icarus Precision 365 XL grip module right here. Now, off the bat, you'll notice, again, it's a lot longer up front. You have a full-size pick rail with three slots on the bottom over here, and then this goes flush with the uh, slide and all that. So. Um, yeah, this is not the one I showed you before. This is pretty cool, but they actually customized this and made a little Mr. Big Kid logo on this grip module. This one's like a sniper gray type color, just really cool looking, so. All right, so let's take a little tour around this guy over here. First of all, the stippling is very well done. The stippling, um, grip texturing, whatever you wanna call it, surrounds the entire grip module. So all the way from the back strap, all the way to the front. Very nice aggressive texturing as well. One thing that I like the most about the Icarus is the contouring. You'll notice the palm swell right back here. It swells out quite a bit, but drastically tapers in and then thins out a lot up here. The beaver tail, very nice contouring inside the beaver tail. And then it sweeps up, sweeps back and then up right here. It just gives a very nice purchase. You have a nice, very deep undercut over here. And then on your trigger guard, you have some uh, cuts, I guess you'd call them more of like a lightening type cut just to lighten things up a bit. Front of the trigger guard, again, you have cuts like that. You have that full size pick rail. And then one thing I like a lot about the Icarus, and this is something that really helps with that shootability, which is the word I like to use a lot. You have, you've got these little gas pedals right here on the front. See these guys? It's ambidextrous, so if you're a lefty or righty, these ledges really help with your supporting hand thumb right there. So you just have a really good purchase. You don't milk the grip. It's just a very good handful of gun with this thing. So again, now the big difference between this guy, this is a lot more, I guess you'd want to call it tactical, space agey, something like that. This thing is built to really fit in your hands and make this a very comfortable gun. It's very ergonomic. So the palm swells, the grip texturing, and the ledges right here really help with that. Now there's a drawback to something that's designed like this. You do have your magwell built into the bottom. It's a little bit thicker than the grip. So that's something you're gonna have to consider when you're carrying it inside the waistband or concealed. Also, right here you have these ledges that do stick out and they're wider. These ledges are wider right here than the rest of the gun. So you have to consider that in holster options. That being said, my current everyday carry is this guy right here. This is my P365X macro compensated with that Icarus Precision grip on there. One thing you notice is here's a TLR7 sub and it's almost the same width. It's pretty much the same width as those gas pedals. What that means is that you can actually use a light bearing holster with this. As long as that light bearing holster is like the TLR7 sub, whatever light you have selected, it'll actually fit with this without these little ledges interfering with that. This is the Mischief Machine Omega grip module on the P365 XL, same gun. I just swapped out the FCU. So one thing you'll notice, I didn't put the mag release in. It's fine. I just didn't feel like swapping them over right now. One huge difference with the Omega grip module right here is you have removable grip panels. These are made by Lock Grips. They sent me a whole bunch of different types, different colors. I figured this tan and black really went well with the, the tan slide and gold barrel and all that. It has a little more of an elegant toned down look to it. You do have a Picatinny rail that sits right up front here and you have one slot. So this is a really good option with the TLR7 sub. It's a really good fit. You have a very sleek design on that trigger guard. So it comes up, you have a nice, very smooth undercut, very well smoothed out, all that. And then it comes up, 
nice thin bar over here, and then it sweeps up. So as far as the back strap, again, it's a very comfortable design. They did a good job keeping it nice and contoured right here on the back. And then right up top, it slightly thins out, and then you have your beaver tail. It's not as long as the Icarus, but you do have one. Now, one thing I will mention is the thickness. This grip is a lot thicker. So if you have pretty big hands, holding onto something nice and thick like this is actually pretty comfortable. And one thing I love about this guy is these removable grip panels give your thumb a place to rest on right up here. So when you're holding your gun, my thumb, naturally just wants to sit here. It's a very secure, comfy spot to hold it. Now the dust cover where that pick rail is, is nice and thick. You have a very thick dust cover. It's a nice place to rest your thumb as well without the extreme uh, gas pedals or anything like that. So again, this is more of a toned down yet elegant design, um, reminiscent of, like I said, the a mini P226 or the classic SIG line, like that 1911, um, age old design with the grip panels and all that stuff. So let's look at these two grip modules now on a table and let's compare them side by side. A nice close up for you guys. Here's that Mischief Machine Omega grip module. Absolutely beautiful, very sleek and more toned down, but more elegant, right? And right here, we have the Icarus Precision Grip Module, much more extreme. You have some pretty crazy looking cuts on there, some crazy design characteristics. And again, those ledges right on the front up there. So here they are side by side. Let me get the camera situated a little better for you. I believe Mission Machine also does make a full length grip module, kind of like this Icarus right here, but I'm gonna compare what I have. So let's look at construction. Overall, they're both pretty much built to the same thickness. So both very thick. I've put a lot of rounds through this grip module right here. So it's gonna have a little more wear than the Icarus, which is relatively new to me. So let's look at thickness though. And there's a big difference. The Mission Machine is quite a bit thicker than the Icarus right here. You can see not only the the thickness of the grip module itself, but then you also have the thickness of these grip panels as well. It does add to that. As far as trigger guard undercuts, the Icarus is a lot more extreme, so you can kind of get your hand choked up a little higher. Whereas this guy's gonna be built a little bit thicker, not as much as an extreme undercut, but again, a little more toned down. Whereas this guy, um, you can see how extreme that undercut is. It just kind of climbs up there. Now the Mischief Machine does have a little bit of flaring in the magwell, which really does help. And then the Icarus has much more of an extreme magwell on there. It's not huge, but there is a difference. Weight, they're about the same. Now I will say, compared to the original 365 XL grip module, they're both much heavier. A heavy gun is not necessarily a bad thing. If you guys are looking for something a little more tactical, a little more extreme, much more curvy, I would look into the Icarus Precision grip module right here. And then if you're looking for something a little more toned down, but elegant, something that's kind of like more or less a showpiece, you might want to check out the Mischief Machine Omega. Both of these grip modules are excellent grip modules. Um, I've carried both of them. I've carried this Omega for quite a while now. I did a review on this grip module a long time ago, and I'm carrying this Icarus right now to test this thing out as well. I'm enjoying the experience of carrying both of these guys. So either way, you can't really go wrong. Um, they're going to have the same holster options as long as they're light bearing. Um, otherwise, they both do have holster options that are designed specifically for these grip modules as well. One thing you should know is that by going with these grip modules and no light attached, you're gonna have to look at other options other than just the 365 XL holsters. They are a little bit different. They're made differently than the SIG ones. Dust covers are different. As you know, the original SIGs have a proprietary rail system on there, whereas both of these have Picatinny rails. Thank you all so much. Hope you guys found this video useful. I'll see you guys later.